Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313 and welcome to another installation tutorial. This time we're going to be learning how to install too many items. It's a mod similar to a mod that I have showcased and installed previously, NEI, but I don't know, there's some people that would prefer TMI, so, you know, I figure I'm just going to go ahead and show both. Now to clarify, too many items will work with most mods. The mod that it will not work with, however, is not enough items. So if you have not enough items installed, you're either going to have to find a way to uninstall it, or you're just going to have to get a new Minecraft. So, yeah. So the way you install it is very simple. First, you have to download it. You could either download the one from Minecraft Home 3.2, which is the one that I will be showing you, but you could also use the latest snapshot. Um, it says that it appears to work on 41B, so try that. If not, then use 41A. So, it'll work on the snapshot, all you have to do is make sure that you download the right one. I am going to be using Minecraft 1.3.2 version. So once you have that, you're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to install it three different ways. One, through the normal .minecraft shortcut way, right there. You have the magic launcher way, and then you have multi-MC. That was for something else, let me get these away. And here's the mod, I've already downloaded it. So let's go ahead and install it using the .minecraft way first. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your .minecraft folder. This can be found using uh, going into the start menu, typing in percent, app data percent. It's going to take you to your RAMing folder, and then you could find your .minecraft folder. If you've already used your .minecraft folder, like you've already been using it, you've already have mods on it, or something like that, you're going to want to make sure that you back up any worlds that you have because this will delete worlds. So don't blame me when your world is deleted. And yeah, so you're going to delete everything, and you could either if you have a backup, you could use that, or if you just, you know, start Minecraft again, you'll get a new Minecraft. But this is brand new. I just copied it in there. All you really have to do is you have to have some type of archiving program, either WinRAR or 7-Zip or an equivalent, and you click on bin, you right-click on Minecraft.jar, and you open with WinRAR Archiver. Now in here, you're going to click on Meta-Inf, you're going to delete it, yes. You are then going to open up too many items. You're going to highlight everything. Make sure you have everything. If you're missing one, it will not work. So make sure you have everything. And then you're just going to click and drag it into your Minecraft.jar. You're going to exit out of everything. You're going to open up your Minecraft.jar. You're going to log in. You're going to wait for it to load. I'm going to go ahead and create a single player world just to show you that it does work. And in a few seconds, once it generates, you will see that that's all you have to do. Just click and drag some files into the Minecraft.jar. Open up our inventory. There you go. We have too many items. Pretty awesome. We have all the functionality. We have everything. So awesome. Let's exit out of that. Now let's go ahead and show, show you how to install it using MultiMC. MultiMC is an awesome program that allows you to have multiple instances of Minecraft. And, it, you know, you could easily switch between them. You could also do a whole bunch of other things with this program, but I'll let you figure it out. So let's go ahead, let's add a new instance. We're just going to name it Too Many Items, TMI. We're going to right-click on there and click Edit Mods. When we're at this page right here, Jar Mods, make sure you're in Jar Mods. If you're in any other thing, it's not going to work. Make sure you're in Jar Mods. You're then going to find, oops, you're then going to find too many items, you're going to click and drag it right into there, you're going to close out, and then you're going to double click on TMI, you're going to click OK, it's going to log in, it's going to download everything because it has to pretty much downloaded a new .minecraft folder, and it's going to be a little bit slow because I am uploading a video at the moment. So I'm going to pause it here, so here and once it's finished, I will be back. And here we go, we have Minecraft open again, I'm going to start a single player world. And once it finishes, I will go ahead and show you that that's all you have to do. You only have to click and drag one file somewhere in this uh, using the multi-MC method. There we go. We have a whole bunch of stuff. That is awesome. Let's exit out. Let's exit out. And then we're going to need a new clean.minecraft. So let's go ahead. Um, because the way that the magic launcher works is it actually uses your uh, original .minecraft destination. So there we go. I'm going to exit out of there, and now when we launch the Magic Launcher, this is another program that makes it very easy to install mods. And it was updated to 1.0.0 recently, which I think uh, works a lot better with uh, 
Forge mods and Minecraft Forge, so should be should be better. So we're just going to create a new configuration. It's going to be TMI, not Tim, but TMI. It's going to copy from default. That way we get the same Minecraft.jar and all that. And all we're going to do is we're going to click this Add button right here to add a mod. And then you're going to find wherever you have too many items, uh, you know, downloaded to. I have it on my desktop, so it's right there. I can open it. It's going to say that there's no mod loader, but that doesn't matter. So you're just going to go ahead, ignore that, press OK. And then when you go to log in, you get that. It all works. Create a new world. And in a few seconds here, we shall see. Once we open up our inventory, it works. And we have TMI all installed. We have all the different functions that, all the different things that we could use and all that fun stuff. So lots and lots of fun. So that's, you know, pretty much everything. If you have any problems, one, make sure that you have all the same versions as I do. I'm using too many items. Uh, the version for 1.3.2. Um, if you're using, like, the snapshot or anything, make sure you have the correct version of too many items for that snapshot. Other than that, if you have any problems, you can go ahead and refer to the uh, troubleshooting things right here. And it'll tell you any everything you could do from TMI doesn't show up to bucket installation things to everything like that. So if you have any problems, look at this first. If you still can't solve it after that, go ahead and send me a private message through YouTube, and I'll go ahead and look at it for you. Uh, make sure you send me the mod info, the mod version, um, a jar. Make sure you have, you know, follow the directions, and I will try and help you the best I can. That way we can get it to work. So. Thank you for watching. If this video has helped you in any way, go ahead and leave a like. It'll help me out a lot. And other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.